Now, there are certain things I'm going to have to say and do in this video to keep myself from being called a hater. Because in today's culture, in today's media, um, when you express concerns or opinions about something and some people don't like it, you're just immediately cast off as a hater, nothing more, a troll. And uh, even though I'm probably going to get called that anyway, I just wanted to put that out there to establish that no matter what anyone says, I'm not a hater of, of anything really. <laughs> I mean, if you look back at my channel, I've always said if I don't like something, I don't enjoy it. Uh, that's pretty much the extent of where I go. I, you know, everyone's free to enjoy whatever they want to enjoy. In fact, the thing I'm talking about today, if, you, if you're excited, if you enjoy it, uh, more power to you. More power to you. But today I want to talk about Aladdin 2019. And how awful it looks currently. Just how awful it looks. First of all, let's let's get the positives out of the way. Positives, music sounds great. Music, I'm glad they're sticking to it. I mean, obviously they had to. The visuals look really good. Really good. They the the background, the setting of it, it looks really nice. It really translates well from animated to live action. Um, Jasmine, uh, I know a lot of people don't like the girl that got her, um, they, the girl that they got. I think she looks really well. You know, she's a very talented actress. I've seen her in Terra Nova, Power Rangers. I think she's got a lot of talent under, under her belt. So I like the girl she got for, the, the girl they got for Jasmine. I like that. Uh, Aladdin. He looks alright. I don't, I don't think I recognize him. I think he's actually an unknown. He might be. If he is from somewhere, I, I have no idea. But he looks okay. I don't mind the guy they got for Aladdin. He looks like Aladdin, you know, regular Joe. Mm -hmm. So I'm not upset about that. Um, I think that's where my praise ends, honestly. <laughs> that's where praise ends. Visuals look great. Music sounds great. Uh, Aladdin and Jasmine look really good. Let's move on to the stuff that I don't like. Let's get. Let's hit the big one. And before I before I continue, I just want to say, I'm a huge Will Smith fan. I really am. I love the guy. I think he's fantastic. Great actor. I love... Every, like, any movie of Will Smith, no matter if it's a drama or comedy, I'm like, I'm there. Will Smith as the genie. I'm not against it. Let's get this out of the way. Of course, Robin Williams' genie, immortal. Like, cannot be touched. No matter who get does it, it will never be as good as Robin Williams. That does not mean that it will not be good. It does not mean that we should immediately hate anyone or be opposed to any you know anything oh no Robin Williams genie will be eternal I don't care what who genie is doesn't mean that I'm mean, just a known fact anything Robin Williams did cannot be touched that includes the rumored Mrs. Doubtfire 2 with Miss Jonah with Jonah Hill if that actually is happening I don't know if it's a rumor still or if it actually is but yeah that includes that so I, I love Will Smith but as of right now him as the genie looks horrible. It does. And it's not because of Will Smith. It's not because he's a genie. I know a lot of people said, well, people complain he wasn't blue in the entertainment uh, magazine cover. And now they complain that he is blue. No, that, that's not where the complaint is. This is alien isolation. Uh, sorry, this is alien blackout all over again. You're taking the, the outrage and you're call, calling it something else. The reason why people are upset is not because he's blue. Of course he's blue. He looks horrid. The CGI is really bad. His face looks photoshopped, superimposed onto the genie, and they should not have done that. We know it's Will Smith. We weren't going to forget. That voice alone lets us know it's Will Smith. The problem, I think, the main problem with the genie, how it looks, is they try too hard to keep his likeness. You know, it's like they were afraid that people would forget it was Will Smith. They should not have done that. They should not have made Genie's face looks so much like Will Smith. I mean, uh, look at Thanos, right? It's Josh Brolin. I don't think the Thanos' face looks anything like Josh Brolin. But we still know it's it's Josh. And yet Thanos is one of the best CGI characters we've seen in cinema, you know, recently. <clears throat> so th I think the main problem is that they they try too hard, way too hard, to keep. Will Smith's likeness, and it has come off as making the genie look really, really terrible. Alright? I'm not saying this movie's gonna suck. I'm saying that so far, the genie for one looks fucking horrid. 
Let's move on to the next thing. Jafar. Oh my god, where do I begin? Oh my god. Who the hell did they get to play Jafar? And I, as, as with everything, my criticisms are not just... You know, they're not just for... I mean, they're, they're not for the actors. Like, if I criticize something, I'm not criticizing the actors at all. You know, that I separate the actor from the, the art, to be honest with you. Um, but who the hell did they get to play Jafar? That has to be one of the worst castings I've ever seen. And I know you're like, well, you just saw five seconds of it, how can you judge it? And, okay, we have the look of him. We have the look of him. Okay? We have the sound, his voice. Let's focus on the look for now. It looks like a kid doing a cosplay of Jafar for Halloween. Not even a cosplay, like a really cheap knockoff Halloween costume. Let's be honest. The sound of Jafar's voice. Bring me the lamp. What? What? Jafar was conniving. He was menacing. He had a snidey, not snidey, but like a really harsh voice. It was evil. This Jafar, not evil. Like... So they messed up Genie's face. They messed up Jafar's look. The, the whole casting for Jafar's is bad. Will Smith as Genie could be pretty good. He's very funny, naturally. So I think that could be pretty good. But you got the main villain looking horrible. Looks like a kid. He sounds like this spoiled prince that wants a jewel. Bring me the lamp. It's bit like he's trying to be seducing. Seductive, sorry. Oh my god. So this is going to be a very short video. I just want to put my thoughts out there. Am I going to go see Aladdin? Probably not. Uh, I don't wish it for the fail. I hope it's good. Uh, you know, for people who spend money on it, of course, I hope it's good. Um, but <laughs> it's not looking good so far. It's really not looking good. No. I mean, I wasn't really excited for Aladdin uh, live action anyway, to be honest with you. Um, but I was at least hoping it would be good. And, you know, so far, it doesn't look so good. I hope it is good, though. <laughs> Man, what a mess. Okay, so just want to put my thoughts out there on the Aladdin 2019. Tell me how you feel. Do you agree? Disagree? Let me know down at the bottom. Even if you hate my opinion and hate me, I want to hear from you. All right? Now, this is Sickly Vindictum. Keep coffee hot. As always, finish the fight. Make sure you give him hell, Joe. See you guys in the next one.